What is up my friends? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean an oven. Here are the items that you'll need for the job. You're going to need some oven cleaner. This is a yellow can. This is a blue can obviously. The difference here, both of them work very well. Only thing, this one is fume free. So I prefer to use this can over that can. You're also going to need some paper towels, as well as some type of dish soap, a cloth. This is just a regular washcloth. You're going to need a broom, also a piece of cardboard or some newspaper. And if the oven is really dirty, something that will help you is one of these. This is just a razor blade here. You can also use some type of scraper that will work as well, plastic scraper. And some SOS pads. This is just some steel wool. It's got some blue soap built into it, so it just helps with the cleaning. And one last item you can use are some gloves, if you are so inclined. First thing we need to do is open this drawer down here and remove any items from the drawer, just so this stuff doesn't get any drip onto it. After that, open up our oven, pull out your oven racks, Grab you a paper towel and remove any big chunks of food that are in here. So if you have a french fry or a piece of sausage or something, get those big chunks of food out. I don't have any in this situation, but get any big chunks of food out that you can so that all you have remaining inside is stuck on, burnt on grease. Also, get your drawer. If you pull this out and lift up like that and pull, the drawer will come out and what you're going to do is remove any kind of uh, crumbs from your drawer as well. As you can see I've got some stuff here. I've got this little stuff. I've got this. Right, I've got just little itty bitty crumbs here. This is the stuff you want to remove from inside the oven and from your drawer here. So just take your drawer, dump it over a trash can or whatever before we start to clean. While you have the drawer out also, it's a good time to go ahead and get any crumbs out from underneath the oven. This is where your broom comes in handy. Take a look at there. See all the dust? I got a piece of popcorn right there. So this is what you want to sweep with that broom. Or if you have some kind of handheld vacuum cleaner, go ahead and vacuum that up before we continue the process. Also, if you see any cobwebs up underneath the oven, remove those as well. Now that that's finished, we can put our door back in. Also, feel free to mop underneath there if you want to, or take your, your damp cloth and and wipe off the, the floor underneath. You can do that as well, if you're so inclined. Now what we wanna do is put down some type of newspaper right here, or in this case, I'm gonna use a cardboard box, and this will just catch any of your drips, so it don't get on your floor. Next step, you guessed it, use your Easy Off and spray your oven. Also, I should mention, you don't want to spray your fan, so avoid spraying fans avoid spraying lights, and avoid spraying heating elements. So if you, have an e uh, if you have a heating element, lift that heating element up and spray underneath it. Also, don't be shy with your easy off. Make sure you spray that oven liberally. You wanna saturate the burnt on grease with this stuff. And what you're gonna do is let this oven cleaner sit and dwell for eight to 12 hours. Just leave it all night long and we're gonna come back in the morning and clean. The reason we're gonna sit and let that dwell all night long is it's gonna make it 10 times easier to remove all that burnt on grease to let that cleaner sit there and loosen up all that crud. It'll make all the difference in the world, so be patient. Dwell time is up, now let's wipe it out.
Now that everything's been wiped out, if there's any remnants of stuck on grease, burnt on gunk, this is where your SOS pad comes in. So what you would do from that point is just grab one of these, you would wet this in the sink, and then you would just scrub out the areas that are still um, caked on, still dirty. Also, on your glass right here, an easy way to get your glass clean if you have burnt on gunk, this is where your razor blade comes in handy. So you would just take your razor blade and you would scrape right like that. Make sure the razor blade is sharp though, because if it's dull, it could scratch your glass. Once you're finished with that and the oven is completely clean the way you want it, what you want to do is ensure that you don't have any leftover remnant of your oven cleaner. And the way you do that is to take a cloth with your, di with your dish soap. Get this wet in the sink, put some dish soap on it, and you're just going to wipe out the oven where you spread your oven cleaner, kind of like you're uh, washing dishes, just to ensure that you don't have any leftover oven cleaner inside. So that's it, my friends. That is how to clean your oven. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you liked it, give it a big clean with confidence. Thumbs up. Really helps us out. And until next time, I will see y'all in the next video.